Hello, this is a Bersendorfer 170 grand piano that's 5 foot 7 inches long, made in 1928 and just coming to stock. Just, so just assessing it to see what kind of work might, we might be able to do to refine it. First of all, the casework is unusual because it's oak. I don't think I've ever seen another oak Bersendorfer before. If you've seen one, if you're watching this, it'd be interesting to know. In fact, there are not many pianos of this age are oak, really. And so Bersendorfer often did experiment with different casework, so it doesn't surprise me entirely. That's a typical oval Bersendorfer music stand so it's all original and um, interestingly it has a piano stool to go with it that's also made up very much in the style of the piano the legs um, seem to be the same style as the lyre there the piano legs are, are square legs though it has ivory keys and they're really perfect slightly yellowed but it matches the piano um, you can see the piano has been used a bit that, that's something we can definitely tidy up to disguise that um, shows that uh, some nails have been catching the back, which is quite common. And the piano has been played a little since it was fully restored, which I think is about 1960. And the rest of the case works in pretty good condition, really. I know a lot of people are buying online at the moment, so I want to show you all the details. Um, so that's a scratch mark there. I think we can probably improve that, but not get rid of it completely. Um, we haven't tried polishing it at all yet. This, this button here is a bit squash looking. I don't know if it's missing one. I, I'll polish or we'll have a look at that anyway. And a few scratches on the top. This is a slight patch of some sort. Uh, so, but it, it's been polished over well. I'm not quite sure what's happened there. But um, generally the casework is in very good condition. So, let's have a look around the other side. And uh, the colour is also even throughout, which is encouraging. The piano has been very professionally restored. Before I mention that, actually, that this is wooden, which is un unusual. I think some pianos have wooden instead of brass here. So if you're a technician and have seen other makes with that, that would be interesting. It's a nice touch. Uh, tun tuning pins are very tight, and which is uh, encouraging. They're big tuning pins, so that's an indication it's been restrung. Obviously, the bigger pins are put in at the time. But the strings are original Bersendorfer style, so that's been restrung. Uh, this is the way Bersendorfer finish off their strings. And I think it was probably restored by Bersendorfer, or certainly a technician who's worked with Bersendorfer before, because of the way it's been done. I wanted to ask a question to technicians. Uh, I meant to ask Bersendorfer when we went to their factory, and I forgot to. And that is what, why they have two numbers here. The, the first number is the serial number. The second number, uh, I've never tried to find out before uh, but Bers lots of Bersendorfers have two numbers this is the first number that's the second number uh, it's more the modern Bersendorfers that have the number here because of this age of Bersendorfer very often they're on a soundboard just here and they're embossed in and they often disappear they're rather faintly bossed in the soundboard's in perfect condition I'm not sure if it's been shimmed when it was uh, fully restored but it has a wonderfully rich tone as we'll hear in a minute before we listen to the piano, this is the worksheet I've made here. Um, that's, uh, that's the piano, a rich, deep tone. It certainly is, as we're going to find out in a minute. Um, and that's the weighting of down weight of the keys, which I've done middle C. So middle C is here, which is 52. Now I've brought that down by some lubrication, and hopefully you can bring all the notes down to range between 48 and 52, or 53 maybe. That's 54. 54 is not too bad, really. Uh, but you notice we don't just keep it within 4 grams, really. Uh, so that's 59. That's a bit heavy in the bass, as you can see. That's C-sharp there. So that's uh, the bottom one here is the sharp. That's, C, that's another C-sharp. So uh, definitely need to try to bring that down a bit. And uh, other work, pitch raising. It hasn't been tuned for a long time, I think, because it's 4435, so it's got to be wrought up, and we take it to above concert to allow for some for it to go down over the say the first year um, regulate the hammer blow and uh, we'll look at that in a minute and the set off and drop screw and voicing well I marked some ones that they're voicing it's pretty it's quite well voiced already actually now look at the action it's a Renner action of course as most Bosendorfers are um, and I've regulated these one taking the blow distance um, to 47 because it was a bit bit high that's how you regulate with using the capstans right underneath um, we've done set offs as well and drop screw here 
So I've mentioned this on other videos. So looking at the hammers, we can see there's not a lot of wear since the hammers uh, were fitted. And these are uh, Renner hammers and they're very well, very well voiced. If you look at the line, you can see how, that they're voiced. That sort of fluffiness means that somebody's worked on the hammer because obviously it's very smooth before. And they've voiced at the shoulders there and done an extremely good job. We will try and do some fine voicing, but most of the main voicing, which is deep voicing down the bottom here and then gradually less deep as you go up, has been done. And this is the Bosendorfer colour for Renner. The hinges here are tight, not too tight, and the rollers have been changed. Uh, we will lubricate the rollers. I've actually, uh, well, the three that I've regulated in the middle here, I've just regulated the set-offs and, and drop screw, and also put some lubricant on the rollers. And it does seem to have brought the touch down to 52 grams. Um, so lubrication is quite easy to reduce by three or four grams if you lubricate. And the, the just letting the back check go you can see the spring pulling it up so that springs well regulated there's going to be fine regulation they're not quite the same as each other so we want to get as much refinement in the touch as we can so now listening to the tone of the piano in the center here it is flat and it's slightly out of tune just going to compare it with this fully restored Beckstein A that was the main singing area now let's listen to the top treble the Beckstein the Bersendorf for tenor Beckstein Bosendorf for bass and the Beckstein this is a bit out of tune too because it's only just been restrung So that's a Bosendorfer 170 grand piano just come into stock, assessing it to see what sort of refinements we might be able to make, uh, unusually in an oak case. There aren't many oak case grand pianos, certainly not that we've bought anyway. Now the tone of this piano is, uh, well it's one of my favourite tones of pianos really. This Asia of Bersendorfer 1928, uh, just really there isn't anything better for a small grand piano. Uh, and it's been very well restored. very good tenor area and an ex excellent bass for the length of the piano. That's really um, as good as you'll get on any 170 gram piano. The touch will be very refined when we finish with it. It's a very good Renner action. It's got new Renner hammers on so it's 
no reason why you should buy a new piano instead of this because the tone of the 30s piano, sorry, 20s and 30s pianos, uh, the small pianos, is just, um, in, in my mind, and I think I speak on behalf of our staff as well, it's just much richer, much warmer than any new piano. Now, if you want to try the piano out, if you can't come and visit us, uh, then we do a special arrangement where you can rent it for a while, and then if you want to buy it, play the rest, you're welcome to do so, or buy a different piano for that matter. We, we sold recently a lot of pianos like that. Of course, we prefer to keep it simple and if you to just buy the piano, and you can then change the piano within a year as well. So, whatever you'd like to do, we're here to serve, and. Um, Thank you very much for listening. We just hope you would, uh, uh, during this time of lockdown, which is just about to end, we hope that it won't put you off buying 